Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. So I received my DVD copy of Thomas Kegler's documentary. It's called Painting Plein Air, Resolving the Landscape. And I made my first pass through it. It's about an hour. But before I do a full review, which I'll do next week, I just want to mention a segment that he talks about composition. At the beginning of the video, he lightly touches upon what he uses in his own work. And of course, he mentions right out of the gate the harmonic armature, which I already knew he used because I've talked to him about it. And he created those PDFs. He also mentioned three other armatures that he seems to use. That is the golden section, which is a 1.618, the root 2, and the root three. So you have the harmonic armature, which is universal for any size rectangle. And then you have the phi, the root two and three, which are fixed rectangles. But what I want to show today is how you can merge a root rectangle, meaning a dynamic symmetry rectangle. Because remember, root rectangles fall under that umbrella of dynamic symmetry. They're specific sized rectangles how you can merge the two concepts together and learn how to analyze art much quicker than, for example, doing it the Barnstone method. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is a painting that I found on this website. It looks like it's in a route too. It's a beautiful painting, th three boats. And then you have some sailboats in the background. It's gorgeous, lovely painting. But what I'm going to show first is the painting in a route two, dynamic symmetry rectangle. And then what I'm going to bring up is the painting with the harmonic armature laid inside the, that root too. But I want to demonstrate what Barnstone teaches when it comes to this information and how you can simplify that. So let me get into this. Okay, so here's the painting in a root too. And you can learn all about this in the book, A Simple Application of Dynamic Symmetry. Mikhail Jacobs talks about this. A lot. But one thing I want to point out here is when Thomas Kegler is talking about root rectangles, meaning dynamic symmetry, he's not talking about overlapping them. That never comes up. He's using straight root rectangles, as far as I can see. But when it comes time to dynamic symmetry, and when I was learning from Myron Barnstone, the way he would teach it is that you would break down the root rectangles into smaller rectangles. And that's correct, but it's a little bit easier to drop in the harmonic armature in a root rectangle and create designs that way. But let me show you what I mean about Myron's teaching. So you have a root two, which is the outer rectangle here, but then you have four root twos inside that. For example, you have your vertical here. So it's dividing this root rectangle into four, one, two, three, and four. But Myron would teach it where you're just continuously breaking down each root rectangle. So I could do this with the root rectangle on the right hand side. If I break it down, I'm creating smaller root twos. And that's what dynamic symmetry is about. You're creating smaller sized rectangles that have the same height and width as the outer rectangle. This is what dynamic symmetry is all about. And then from that point, I can drop a horizontal line here and it gives me this dominant division in this painting, which is right here. Let me thicken that line up a little bit though. Right there. So if I break this down, I'll do it again just with thicker lines. I'm just breaking it down into smaller root twos. And again, like I said, this is how dynamic symmetry works. This is how Myron would teach it. But you can use the harmonic armature inside of a root two when you're creating your, your designs because there's a relationship between the two. And I think it's much easier if you're going to use a root rectangle, as Thomas Kegler talks about in his video, you can drop the harmonic armature inside that. And Aristides talks about that in the book Classical Painting Atelier. Let me show you that. So this is the same painting, it's in a root two, but inside of that root two, I have the harmonic armature. And as you can see, it's giving me all the same divisions. Okay, so I have, let me draw this out here. You have your horizontal line right here, and I'll have to thicken that up again. There it is. So you have that dominant horizontal line, which I just showed you in the Barnstone method. It's already laid out for you because you have the harmonic armature 
drawn out, those divisions are easy to find. You don't have to break down each rectangle. But also notice here that he's using these diagonal lines contained within the harmonic armature to create visual paths in his composition. But I didn't have to break anything down, okay? Because these diagonal lines are already drawn out, you're used to doing the same 14 lines and this is how you can use it. And you have a division right here in the center. You also have a division here. It's much easier to locate divisions is my point when you're using the harmonic armature as opposed to breaking down root rectangles which was the Barnstone way of analyzing art but again with Barnstone he got into this overlapping root rectangle technique and I don't see any evidence of that in Thomas Kegler Kegler's work and he didn't mention anything to me about it I, I don't like I said many many times I don't follow that concept I think it's off the charts crazy complex but you can see just from this simple example of a painting in a root 2 or a rectangle very close to that root 2 how you can use a harmonic armature inside any rectangle including the golden section which he mentions the root 2 and the root 3 you can use a harmonic armature in any size root rectangle and arrive at divisions much quicker than continuously breaking it down now of course you can do that you can do the Barnstone method in root rectangles to create a specific design, but there are much easier ways to design than some of those methods. That's going to be it for today. If you have any questions about this, drop me an email. But I think it's pretty straightforward. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, as always.